Hey Star Seeds, I am back. Thank you guys so much for being here. And thank you guys so much for y'all. Um Why am I here? Um birthday wishes. Y'all had a birthday? School birthday was recently. Or it's Pisces season. Alright, birthdays anyone out there. But thank you guys so much for the um the wishes to for me and my family to be well and you know, pray in in y'all prayers. We really appreciate it. Thank you. And I'm going to go ahead and do a collective message for you guys because I want to do a reading. We still, you know, please excuse the coughing. Do not come for me. Do not tell me about my child coughing. Don't tell me nothing. I already know she's coughing. And, you know, we are taking care of it. Please, just shut the fuck up. All right. But, you know, I know y'all karmic don't like that I'm saying that y'all got our energy on y'all altar. But it's true. Like, y'all trying to project or mirror some type of dark shadow energy towards us and you you're doing rituals on your altar and you're thinking that you're cloaked and you're not it's definitely a witch a kitchen witch all right uh she may claim she's an herbalist she may call herself a kitchen witch all right you need to protect yourself from this kitchen witch okay because i do feel like she's still attacking you in your union all right y'all still need to yes i said this for taurus too for last month that there was a kitchen witch in your energy taurus All right, because, she, yeah, this person could be an actor in the sense of they, they be acting like they going through all this, that, and the third, and they're really not. All right, I just picked up, they don't want you to read tarot no more. So if you're a tarot reader, they're attacking your tarot reading. All right, I feel like they're, like, trying to put, like, your tarot readings on, like, on, like, like why am I getting free? Like, they're trying to freeze up the energy so you won't do any readings. And I'm also getting, like, they also trying to put you on blast, okay? What? I just, they think that you are the reader trying to, like, expose them or some shit like that. But they was coming in your energy trying to expose you. All right, but I feel like all that energy y'all was going through with this crazy person, whoever it is, it don't just got to be a tarot reader, whoever this karmic is that's attacking you, that you're going, like, that's being... Oh, just rebirth. It's being, like, canceled out. All right? All that is being transmuted into, like, reborn energy. All right? It's right there. Oh, no, right here. So, yeah, I feel like you guys are going through a powerful rebirth at this time. I feel like, you know, nobody did not expect for you to go through this rebirth here. Fertility, wow. You're growing. You're truly growing. Yeah, I feel like you're growing into, like, fulfillment energy. That's what I was picking up. It's like your life is literally shifting from rags to riches, starseeds. Like, literally, that may be the wish that is coming true for you guys. And I feel like the energy is very intense for you. It's like no one can stop you. No one can stop this. They can try. They can be, this witch can be all in her house doing all these damn spells. It ain't going to change anything, all right? It's like... It's like this is someone that is trying to throw confusion at you as well. By saying, like, oh, I'm not doing any spells on you, but yet they're doing spells on you while they're saying they're not doing any spells. It's like they're trying to restrict you from saying they're doing spells by doing by doing spells. Okay, this is, I don't, I don't know. This is someone, they're just not in alignment. They may be having a hard time seeing things, clearly. I don't know, but <coughs> they need to get it together. <coughs> your ancestors i just heard in my head i feel like this person have a problem with your ancestors they have a problem with you remembering who your ancestors are you going with your ancestors you're going through the spiritual rebirth all right because that's what it is you're going through a rebirth these people did not expect you to go through a rebirth they did not go expect you to go through a transformation <coughs> mina cover your mouth they did not expect you to go through a transformation i i feel like with your masculine they expected you and your person to be dead somewhere in a ditch or they expect the, your ancestors to just leave you in a ditch somewhere. They don't like that you're protected. This is this is giving me like demonic energy for them to not like that you're protected because they want to see you go through something. They want to see you fail. And it's like these are this, this is someone that's going up against the wicked rule here. The wicked laws. You are going against what look ethos. Okay, you're going listen, you're going against universal law, period. You're going against karma. Them trying to disrupt your rebirth is is 
karmic, you know? So it's going to cause some disruption, just disruptions in their life, a tower, all right? Then they're doing rituals to ruin what's growing for you, to ruin your prosperity. And, 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 they, and they're trying to use spirit to do it. This is this is crazy. This is someone they're definitely doing stay and they in their house and they feel like they can, you know, call on this spirit in their home. It's fine, it's safe, okay, but I don't feel like it's all that safe. Hold on, you guys. Amino. Oh yeah, I feel like all their hex has been sent back to them. I feel like it, and they think it's you. I'm done. Okay, they don't think it's the wicked, the wicked laws or the universal laws, spirit laws. They don't think it's, they don't think it's your divine protection. I'm telling you, see how I fell right on top. Of, this is protecting you. I don't know who these wicked. Okay, but you see, what the, whoever these these witches are, whoever these karmics are that's doing all these these dark, it don't have to be a wicked. It can be in any type of spiritual practice they're using. They're going against the laws. They're going against the grain. See, you're protected. This fertility is giving me the impress too. All right, you're protected. You're a divine feminine that is protected. All right, y'all could be air signs. I have air placements, fire placements. All right, air and fire. Okay, y'all could be, you know... Wiccans too. All right, working with the elements, and another Wiccan don't like that you are in greater power than her. Okay, I feel like you are also remembering who you are on a soul level. You know, and it's I feel like they want you to remember who you are on a surface level, but you remember who you are on a, on a deeper level. That's that soul level. All right. Yeah, air. I feel like someone's trying to confuse you. I don't know why I'm. Just, I'm getting like fog with that air. I'm getting fog. Maybe someone's trying to confuse your 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 mind, your imagination, how you see things. But y'all could be communicating with your ancestors. Y'all could be mediums, psychic mediums online for some of you guys. Y'all could have been a part of like a spiritual group or a witch group or something or like a, like some type of spiritual group where y'all talk about, you know, what y'all know about ancestors and y'all share your gifts and all that extra stuff. I don't know. That, that's just what's coming up. But they can't go against this wicked rule here. They can't go against the wicked law. All right. And what they put out there it will come back. They got to make sure their intention is in the right place. And their intention is not in the right place coming for you in this in this weird way. It's is 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 distasteful. Very tacky. Alright, I feel like they do a lot of um candle magic. Yeah. But a lot of this kitchen witch, or this wicked, whoever this this witch is, a lot of her magic consists of ki um candle magic. <coughs> so she'll like, you know, mix up some herbs and sprinkle it around her candle or even create her own candle, put the herbs in it. I know what you do, bitch. All right, you nasty, and you thought that you was going to be fulfilled from this, and that shit is just not going to work. I don't know, something about a fan. A fan is significant as well. Even though, like, those um, Chinese fans. I don't know, I feel like this karmic is giving me, like, a fan type of energy. They just know so much about you. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's like... Half the shit ain't even true, to be honest. Let's see, anything else? Them going against your spiritual rebirth is going against universal laws. Here, look, candle magic. The candle magic even goes against the wicked laws here. They're not supposed to be doing this. These hexes, it goes against it. <coughs> Alright, this witch, her, her magic goes against these, these wicked laws, the wicked rules. It's not supposed to do it. <coughs> she's not I feel like she's trying to appear as light like her home is light you know 
my um my pets something about her pets i don't know i feel like this karmic pets got some dark energy all right but she's trying to make it seem like her pets are good like i'm like literally i'm seeing her pet with foam out of its mouth like i don't know what's happening here what dark energy she's playing with y'all could even saw like the pet didn't look right the dog didn't look right it could be a dog it could be a cat it could be anything. It just didn't look good. I feel like she's trying to appear like everything is fine, but it's not. That's the vibe that I'm getting. And like I said, because she may have like an animal that may, like she look as a guardian, maybe even a cat or a dog, something, and, and she could invite you to her house. All right? And it just didn't seem right. It's something like that. Yeah, when, I feel like y'all got invited to a witch house. All right? And she, she wanted to invite you to her house. To see your vibe or some shit like that. I don't know, man. Something ain't right. One of y'all been in their house. Or she wanted you to go to her house. Something just ain't right. Or she wanted to come to your house. Something ain't right with her pet. It, it looked like it. Maybe it's a stray. All right. It looks like it. It, it, it don't look good. It don't look good. It don't look like a good dog. And, and it could be a bad dog, but I'm just saying like it could be unhealthy. Like, the dog looks sick. Like, this pet, this, look, this karmic's pet could be sick. It's, it's a dark magic. It's going against the grain and, and it's striking her animals. It gotta hit something or someone. It's about to soon strike her damn food. That's exactly what Spirit is showing me. The herbs and stuff she used to cook. The same herbs that she using on her damn hexes and, and spells and shit. So she, I don't know, I don't know, but Spirit just showed me certain herbs she's using, she also used to cook with. Alright, she may end up poisoning her damn self. Her own energy may end up killing her. I don't even see how she uses, like, I'm seeing, like, basil and oregano. I don't even see how you can use basil and oregano to hex or curse. I don't know how you pulling the energy to do all this stuff. But you clearly, you clearly know how. But all I know is that y'all in, in, in this incubated energy, like y'all protected. That's what I'm getting with this incubation. It may look and appear to others that you weak or you not fighting back. But no, that's you're protecting your energy. I don't, I don't understand why people want you to hex them back. Why they want you to send your ancestors a certain way. Let your ancestors handle it, handle it the way that they need to handle it. I don't want to make this reading long at all. I really don't. All right, but homecoming, something about, listen, I feel like this person wanted to come to your house to see, like, your altar set up. I'm telling you, somebody wanted to come in your fucking house. Somebody, this person could have showed you their altar, okay? Y'all could be a water sign, dealing with one water moon placement, all right, or fire. Y'all could be very stable, very, like, your stability energy is very intense, like, it's, it's like it's true people be like you are stable maybe somebody trying to come off as if you homeless or you you're, or you're unstable you're very stable i don't understand but y'all could be using the moon to cleanse yourself your in your energy your spirit or using like moon water to cleanse maybe y'all could have bathed in some moon water that you guys collected right by putting some water outside in front of the moon and you probably pour that jug inside the water or in the tub, that's how I'm seeing it. Or well, y'all should do that. Or even if you're showering, just pour some over your head, over your back. I feel like moon water would be good for you guys. Moon and water. Help cleanse you. Y'all can add some moon water on your arm. Yeah, somebody was also projecting, like, you need to cleanse your home or clean your home. Like, some, because I'm telling you, somebody was sending you some dark energy around a full moon or a new moon cycle and trying to project so much darkness and dirty energy to your home. And then, 
how the way I'm seeing is like this is someone that will send you dark energy and then will come to you and be like, oh, you need to cleanse your house. Oh, you need to cleanse your spirit here. Let me show you what you need to do to remove it after they after they sent it to you. It's backwards. You can't you can't live in no loop with this person. It's not worth it. Somebody just wanted to be all in your spiritual business. Some of y'all read tarot cards. Okay? Somebody's reading tarot cards on the altar. Or at the altar. Like asking their ancestors questions. Like I, I yeah. In their home. They're doing it in their home. They're doing all this shit in their house. They conjuring in certain spirits in their house. I'm telling you. And these are not like... And, and the thing is, it ain't like it's on a friendly tip. And no, it's on, they on some chaos shit. They, sending, they conjuring these spirits to do some dirty work. <coughs> and they think... It's, like, they think what they're doing <coughs> is protected by, like, spiritual laws. Like, it fits in... Within like spiritual laws <coughs> and wicked laws, okay? It doesn't make any sense to me. And then somebody trying to say you reading tarot cards is breaking some type of barrier with the Lord. And then I feel like this could be the same person that's out here sending you some dark energy. I'm man, they 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 conjuring shit to their house. All right, they trying to make it seem like their house is so. Uh, like it appears to be so clean so pure or i don't understand they need to fucking cleanse their house all right i don't even if it is fucking clean they need to clean it energetically i i see a lot of dust honestly you, you ever been to somebody's house where it's like everything is neat and, and not well we we'll say it appears to be neat but when you look you see it's dust everywhere like things haven't been moved around i'm just seeing a lot of dust like they need to dust all right, they can. They need to. To I don't know. I don't know something about a closet. They need to sweep. They need to sweep a closet. That could be their little spiritual closet. I'm picking up on a lot of this. Thing. This is someone who you familiar with. All right, if y'all read tarot, y'all pick up on this karmic energy in your own readings. You know exactly who it is that's watching you, burning the candles, trying to block your spiritual rebirth. They trying to make you confused about this, like. <clears throat> you know why are you even getting the spiritual rebirth you they don't they want to make you feel like you don't deserve it like imposter syndrome like you don't deserve to be in this position you know or it was your ancestors that put you here you should be more grateful and they, and as if you're as if you're not grateful see and you see y'all dealing with lunatics um they're crazy they, they it, it appears to them you're ungrateful because you don't want to deal with them because you don't like them so now all of a sudden you're not thankful for your ancestors that's the type of people you deal with. The moment you don't want to deal with them, they start crossing you and, and talking bad and saying, you're this, you're that. They're childish. They're not, they have not grown up. Even though they may say that they have, they've gone through all this, they haven't healed from it yet. If that's the case, they won't be saying, I've gone through this and using it as a weapon. They, they should be using that as glory. Glorifying that they've gone through this and look where I am today. They use that to tear other people down what they've gone through. Make it seem like other people don't deserve anything, no come up. Because they gone through so much in life. This is a witch that's doing spells. She's a witch. I don't care if she claimed that she even under E5. I don't give a fuck. She is a witch. She's a witch. She got her own witch wand and everything. She got her broomstick, a wand. Bitch, if you look, if it looks like a duck, quite like a duck, bitch is a fucking duck. You a witch. Let me not curse so much. You are a witch. You are a, in the spirit, bitch, you are a witch. In the spirit, you are a witch. In the spirit, you appear as a witch. I don't care how many African dances you do. You are a witch infiltrating the spiritual ancestral community. In the graveyard, bitch, because you don't deserve to be in the graveyard. That's a sacred land, bitch. Let me not. Let me No, let me keep going. You a whole witch out here. You're not a healer. You're not a healer. You did not come into this as a healer. You came into this with war. And you had an axe to grind with one of my star seeds. That probably really is E5. That probably is Wiccan. That probably really is who they say they are. You the only one with the bullshit. That's not who you are, sis. Hoodoo ain't you. 
Voodoo ain't you. Santeria ain't you. None of that shit is you. Listen. And when I say she a witch in the spirit, y'all know what I mean. A dark witch. She's not who she appeared to be. She's not no white witch, no green witch, no herbalist witch. That's not her. That was never her. She just want. She just wants the 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 prosperity that comes with either saying I'm Ifa or I fuck with Orisha or I am Santorian or you know I'm Wiccan. That's all she wants is the glory that comes from being a part of that. About the part of being in that initiation. That's not who she is in the spirit. She's wicked and evil. She's a thief. Okay? And yes, she reads tarot for some of you guys. Or she call up tarot readers. And other fucking, like, tarot readers that do spells. These are like witches. These are like her friends. Her type of friends that they're all the same. But they claim they fuck with ancestors like Orisha's. Ancestors like, you know... Like the black Santa Murta and so on. Yeah, they claim they fuck with spirits like that. And they out here doing all this witch hat shit. All this witchy shit. In the backwoods, digging up shit, putting shit in the ground. Cursing and hexing and all this. And they want to fucking worry about you and all this. So they need to worry about themselves. Like I said, the prosperity and the fulfillment that comes with being a part of the ancestors, connecting with them. That's what this karmic is 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 drooling for. And you got it, star seeds. That's the fucking part about it. You got it. And this witch don't. <coughs> <coughs> you got the royalties. Okay. <coughs> Hold on. All right, y'all. So I moved Mina out. So let's cough him. No, don't come back. But yes, you guys, you got it. And, and I'm just picking up. These karmas, they don't like to listen to you because they try to say, like, you're sick or you can't take care of yourself or something like that. I don't know what they're trying to say. But they know that you're right. Anyway, y'all got it. The prosperity, the fulfillment, the royalties. The gold. You you got that. You got it. But they fucking praying for him and trying to steal from you. You got already. Prosperity and fulfillment. You got it. That golden chalice is yours. Prosperity is yours. This is all yours. And they thought they can do all these voodoo hexes and curses that you don't know about. To wash it away. Get out of here with that weak minded thinking. Y'all be thinking y'all can sucker punch people with spells and get away with it. That's not cool. That's not funny. All right. And and it's it's like a lot of these, these are the type of people they'll laugh at you if you you are like, let's just say, if y'all if but y'all I don't know if y'all was sick like me. But if let's just say if y'all was sick, these are the type of people they will laugh at you because you sick. But when they bust out sick, <coughs> you can't you, and if you say something about it, they they sad, they crying, they all these different things. And I feel like for a lot of because I was saying these karmic have bad health some of them are sick and i feel like some of them are, are mentally sick honestly and i ain't gonna lie to you i feel like you know people's laughing at their mental health people's laughing at their crazy ass really because they sound crazy i'm picking up you guys are um a prosperous terror reader you're gonna be all right i feel like it's your guidance like how do you guide people it really does clear the air Maybe you give a lot of clarity. Maybe it's your spirit. It, it feels prosperous and fulfilling, like enjoyable. Maybe you are you give people optimism and hope. 
You give them back their imagination. You know, you help them feel connected with their inner child. I don't know. It's just something about you and how the way you guide. And that's a part of the main reason why you're so damn protected because it's, 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 you have, you have a magic touch. And no, no, no one else can touch that. No one can touch your magic touch, but fucking you. It's yours. They, they can't, how can they call you a copycat when it's your energy? It's them trying to copy you. They want to call you a copycat. Look at you. You are, you are obvious demon that love to thief. All right, that love to steal. You're an obvious demon. Cover your mouth, you know. Please, I try to keep you out of here. And I feel like they were trying to receive messages and downloads about your family, like your ancestors. I'm, I'm not even trying to tap in too deep into all this today. I'm, I just don't have the time. I don't want to have the time today to have all the um, <laughs> the time into all this stuff. Especially with all this um, Arisha stuff that y'all be doing. Y'all be giving the Arisha's headaches, man. Y'all be, be loony as hell. <laughs> all right, listen. Y'all be loony over the Divine Feminine. <coughs> y'all karmic and y'all crazy ass spells. <coughs> it be driving y'all crazy. Yeah, receiving, they were trying to receive so much messages about y'all. And when they say, no, uh, no, I didn't, no, I don't, uh, uh, uh. Like, yes, yes. And listen. They want to know what you're doing in your house. Somebody want to know how your house look, how the energy feel. I'm telling you, somebody was obsessed with your house or with your housing or, like, messaging your housing. Like, somebody could have emailed your housing, your housing associate, association, HOA. Somebody tried to get you kicked out, kicked off the program or some shit. They wanted them to look at you crazy, but... All it did was make these people, like, not even look at you at all. Make them want to come after these people who's messaging them about you. That's what I'm getting. Like, somebody could have been, like, trying to message or email your landlord, property manager, housing association, HOA. That's what I'm getting because I'm here HOA fee. Somebody try to report you. And they did not look at you the same way the karmic was looking at you. They looked at you as, like, we can't prove none of this. None of it made sense. It didn't even add up to, like, who you are. It was like a community of people, like, trying to snitch on you, get you put out. <coughs> That's what they had planned. Like, they was like, oh, I'm going to do this and do that. Watch. Watch when next week come, Monday come. And I feel like they got judged for trying to fuck with you. I feel like you was protected. God was protecting you from on the other side for a long time. All right? Really. These people over here worrying about you want you to go to jail. Because you guys receive messages and downloads from spirit. They could have been trying to make it seem like you're the spiritual person that's really crazy. And you talk with spirits. And they're really demons. And, like, come on now. They're trying to, like, you know, oppress you. And suppress you because of your power. Alright, some of them try to say, like, you are, like, I, for, some, for some of you guys, somebody was trying to say you are part of, like, some crazy <coughs> spiritual group. That sacrifice people, <coughs> or y'all communicate with spirit, with bad spirit, y'all y'all communicate bad things with the spirits. It's just stupidness. Some of y'all could have been a part of a spiritual house, and y'all could have been initiated under, right? Something similar to like Ifa, right? All right, or this could even be with Wiccan or whatever else. I don't know. Take out resonate. But somebody was trying to demonize that and say, like, y'all doing, like, dark spells, dark magic, wicked, evil. Maybe somebody in that group was, but that you wasn't about that. And and if so, y'all separated from that. That's the vibe that I'm getting. It's like y'all worked really hard to get yourself out of whatever dark energy of karmic you're trying to put you in and keep you stuck in. And it's like, now it's, it's, it's for some of you guys, y'all could have been also dealing with someone trying to put you back in some negative energy but just in a whole nother way and it's like it's, it's this is the vibe i'm getting it's like you just came out of something came out of some bullshit now you got somebody else trying to put you in some deeper shit and you're not dealing with that because you just try to not try you just got out of some shit i don't know why somebody trying to say you tried or some shit no you you got out all right but i feel like somebody was trying to send you karma like the law enforcement because you getting yourself out of <clears throat> the sticky situation they try to put you in. So they so they can put law enforcement on you. And that will lock that in. 
And they was telling people about this, like the cops want to come after you. All right, they doing rituals and shit to, to, to send you to jail. Cursing your life to make sure you end up in jail. This is, I don't want, I don't know why these people so obsessed with you. That's crazy. These, that's what I was feeling. Like some of these people really believe the FBI is going to bust through your door. Because you, they thinking you doing some shit illegal. I want to know what the illegal shit you doing. Like, they make it seem like you murdering people and you burying bodies underground. Under, in this, they under your house or some shit. Or they in the basement or the attic. This could be an attic here. Yeah, they're addicted to you. And that's why they sounding crazy. Their vision is blurred. Y'all, I feel like what, how the way they see things, they see things from like a soap opera, lifetime movie, point of view type of shit. And I, listen... I'm hearing these are the type of people that will talk about your kids, make certain comments about your children, saying how you ain't taking care of your children right when they don't even have children, or they don't know how to take care of children, or they don't understand how children operate, period. But they oh they got they always got something to say about like children or your children. You could be twenty seven. Thirty or thirty eight. 35 all right I, I listen somebody trying to say you don't deserve marriage because you don't take care of your children they say you do what yo that's i'm listen your marriage is for your children bitch who is these people who are these who are these predictors who are these people that predict things oh my god Y'all, listen, I know y'all, listen, I know y'all currently be watching me, but y'all was really happy that I was sick. Y'all really thought that was karma. Bitch, I'm not about to explain nothing to you. Y'all going to hell. I can't wait to see y'all in hell. And I already had my dreamscape adventures when I visit certain karmics in hell. I did. And, um, it's funny because I'll watch certain things that will confirm stuff that I, I see in the dream state. And it's like somebody will see the exact same thing. Okay, I I cannot wait to visit, visit y'all again. I cannot wait. But I ain't counting on it in the sense of waiting, counting my days. No. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my days on this earth, but I just cannot wait to see y'all in hell. Because it's not even just going to be I told you so, but it is going to be a bit fat I told you so. But you just full of, you just full of crap. You're full of crap to me. Mino, go with your sister. <sighs> It's like y'all karmic's always trying to tell somebody what to do and, and how they need to do things, but you don't want no one to tell you about how your spell like first of all, conjuring spirits outside y'all. That ain't even smart. That's not smart. <coughs> somebody feel like it was like destiny for for y'all to cross paths so they can like tear you down. That's the sickness, that the mental sickness I'm talking about. Y'all can complain and talk about my, my fever. All right, me and my kids catch kissing colds because the fucking atmosphere is dirty. And they still talking about C-19. Okay, but... <laughs> I, I Listen, I'd rather know that I, I'd rather have my little fever. Because I know I'm recovered from that. Opposed from this mental illness that you may never recover from. Because it's a mental illness for you to believe that you are destined to destroy somebody. It's a mental illness. Okay, I'll be sick tenfold over mentally fucking sick. At least my mental space ain't sick. Y'all karmics are a bunch of rats in the same house. Biting and snitching on each other. Back biting and snitching on each other. Not doing no good for one another. Hold on. back but yeah see this was meant for you and i feel like that is what like I, first of all y'all making it rain 
all right naturally y'all it's like y'all manifesting this this um this energy but i also see good fortune raining down on you guys and blessing y'all with privilege as in manifesting you guys into the privileged lady it don't matter how many times I don't know why spirit is saying it don't, it don't matter how much sickness you get. I don't know why these karmic trying to wish sickness on you. I'm I'm assuming, because I know y'all watching me and y'all probably thought y'all put sickness on me. Y'all did not put sickness on me. All right, I know how I got sick. Y'all are delusional. If y'all really think y'all winning because I caught a fever, that was that was the best thing I ever gone through. That was the biggest. Listen, I slept for two days straight, and I I slobbed so damn much it felt good. Trust me, it felt good to take a break. Okay, it did. <coughs> and I'm getting, you know, I, I've worked too much. <coughs> I needed a break. And plus, my body is going through a purge. <coughs> Let it go through a purge. But I'm assuming that, you know, y'all trying to send sickness on us because y'all asses are sick and y'all think we doing it. I don't know how you getting sick. I mean, we are in... The flu season. You get what I'm saying? Well, and well, at least coming out of it, it was March, but we was. But I'm getting like December time, so maybe your karmic was extremely sick around like late December. I'm here early and late December, so maybe the whole month of December they were sick. Could have been even January, maybe New Year's they were sick. But, you know, the wealthy man, go your person right here. Look, they always trying to steal energy from your person. They feel like he's an easy target. There we go right here. I feel like for a lot of you guys, they trying to steal life from you by trying to, like, deem sickness on you, but deadly sickness. All right? Not no fever or common cold. No, this is like ammonia type shit. All right? If I, if I said that right or, you know... God forbid, sickle cell, some, something deadly, something that will, like, take you out, cancer, okay? And they trying to deem that on both you and your person, you and your person, all right? And they hoping, like, you know, y'all will go broke in medical bills. That's stupid, because some of y'all, some of y'all may get Medicaid, all right? So, who is this fault? You're not clever. You're stupid, and that, and you, you may not have Medicaid, I mean, not Medicaid, well, Medicare coverage, period. Can you afford it? Bitch, get Blue Cross or some shit. I don't know. Get a job that offers health care coverage. Because I don't know if she have health care coverage. That's probably why, you know, if, if you do get any type of health care coverage, she's hating on it. That's why she's trying to manifest all these high medical bills. Because she's like, well, your insurance will pay for it. Or some, I don't know. These people are just crazy. That's the vibe that I'm getting, though. All right. And I feel like a karmic, they, I feel like they still want you dead. All right, they still want you dead with Papa Legba and whatever other ancestors they work with. This bullshit mature woman that's claimed she's a part of voodoo and hoodoo. All right, she's a loser. All right, she needs to stop doing what she's doing because this shit is fucking embarrassing. They're trying to get your children involved in this stuff. I see the story. Constantly, they constantly trying to steal from y'all as a couple, you and your person. All right? And then always trying to deem your outcome, all right, as death. And the death will be bad health, all right? You will be dying from bad health and sickness, all right? And it's like somebody trying to say, like, your tarot readings is turning your mind bad. That's what it, listen, that's what this mature woman is saying. She's sick. She's mentally sick for saying that, okay? And the only reason why she's saying that is because your tarot readings is showing you the truth about her and maybe her false lover. Okay, maybe she could have married whoever she went for mar for for money. Okay, all I know is that she misjudged you. What? I feel like what the hell? Is this person trying to write a, a grievance against you? I'm telling you, man, you and your person. This could even be like a spiritual grievance. This is someone that claim they work real deep with the spirits. Okay, because. They out here trying to write spiritual grievances and shit. They claim they got this deep spiritual connection. I'm done with them. Let me put these cards away. I'm so done with them. They doing all these damn tarot readings. These people trying to figure out how you got... Why, wait. 
where y'all listen I, for some of you guys they actually trying to figure out like how you're how like how you got sick like they could have found like found out you were sick they want to know how you got sick all right that is crazy because i'm even seeing that for me y'all karmic y'all really like y'all sick too y'all sick as fuck stop it because you sick too karmic and then you out here trying to figure out like how you sick how did you get sick figure that out first there's the sickness in the air but when i say bad health i mean like the fucking sickness that i talked about all right, that's what I, the bad health that I see for y'all karmics if y'all don't start with these damn spells. You may just bleed internally. Sorry. No, no, don't say anything. Don't say anything. But those hexes and stuff is, is being banished out of our energy. It is. And boundaries, and say our ancestors are protecting us. You may think our ancestors protecting you, dumb, dumb. They're not protecting you. And, and listen, what? <laughs> they ain't protecting whatever you think. I don't know what you think you got going on. I don't know. I don't know what's happening here. I just I just don't understand. I, I just I just don't. Alright, messages of concern. Y'all can keep receiving messages about us. I, I knew it. Didn't I just I just said this. So who who's the tarot reader asking the tarot, you know, why are we sick? Or is divine feminine and masculine mentally sick? You asking if we mentally ill? You really think the tarot is going to answer that question for you? And, 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 and are you think our energy is going to tell you? You think that energy is going to pop up from us? It's a community of them with gifts they claim. I got gifts. I'm a child of Orisha, of Ilegua. Okay, I know, I I know what you're saying. I'm I'm a child, I'm a I'm, I'm a Byron child. They official in my spiritual tame life. I know what y'all saying. I know it, cause y'all trying to sound like me. But I don't sound like that though. I don't sound like that. But I do claim them as my ancestors because that's who they are. Now all of a sudden y'all jumping on the bandwagon. One minute, one minute, Papa Legba the devil. Now all of a sudden he 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 my ancestor. Oh God, Lord. Mom, it's funny. I'm sorry, I scared you. <laughs> but I told you, they're trying to receive messages. Of like why you sick or how you got sick and it's even be mentally sick. Listen, listen, you know what the spirits say? They say you you sick cause you blessed. Okay, you mentally sick cause you blessed. Okay? They can clearly tell that you blessed. They can clearly see and live in color that you blessed. Rather you sneeze, cough, got a headache that day, you still walking around blessed. Rather you was in the hospital, you walked out blessed. <laughs> this this is this is gonna always be your answer, Karmic. We are great fortune. We are immortal over here, baby. We are not gonna die behind whatever you trying to send towards us. That's why a lot of y'all attacks they 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 actually they become minuscule. It it turns into something so small. It's like, come on now, baby. You have to you you can't no. You could you could try to do more, but you can't do more than that. You can't do more than that. Because it's never going to work. You know? We don't want to challenge the karmic, but we also want to let them know that, that you might as well not try because you're going to fail. Alright? Uh, you got to accept your defeat. <coughs> <coughs> you got to accept your defeat. This is what I'm getting. <coughs> And they don't want me to say it. This is what I'm this is what I'm getting from this. They have to accept change. The change is despair. And the despair is coming from defeat. They don't wanna be in they don't want their energy to change to despair. But they they running around in unsettled energy right now. Alright, at least if they in despair, they'll be settled in the energy that they put out there. They know why they in despair. They unsettled. 
They don't even, they can't even figure out why they're going through all this left and right stuff. <clears throat> Trying to change your journey. All right, you, listen, and listen, you a child of Arisha too. You tell them that. I'm a child of Arisha too. Tell them to stop fucking playing with you. Because, listen, and also tell them to expect the same fall and failure they want for you. Because they should know. When they play around with this shit and they going against a child. A child, listen. You a child of God first. And that's not putting the Arisha to the back burner. No, and, and, they, and they understand that. So they would never overpower God. So they, huh, they okay. So this is this is literally what God is showing me. You think you can use a reason to overpower me? And that's what God is. This is what God is showing me and telling me that y'all are trying to use the Arisha to overpower God. And the Arishas respect our Supreme Father. Y'all may think that they don't. Oh, they do this and they do that. So you think they're going to do that for you, bitch? Oh, you, you must be special. Literally. All right, y'all karmic as hell and y'all are thieves. And y'all keep trying to call Ishu to, 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 to thieve and steal. Y'all ain't using the spirits right. Period, point blank. And y'all not putting God first. One thing I would, that's, that's one thing I would do before doing any type of work, voodoo work or Risha work, I will, I will tap into my, my God heart. And see, is, is this righteous? Is this something that even with the, 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 the Arishas do? Despite what I fucking hear? Y'all not righteous. Y'all not righteous. You are, listen, yes, you are a child of Marisa too, but you're also a child of the Most High. And they be forgetting that. They be on their ego. Foaming out the damn mouth. Just shut up. All right, listen, it all, listen, it all boils and go right back to you. You being the main female and you being gifted and granted and chosen this great fortune and not them. How the hell are they going to get it when they fucking dying? They being killed from their own damn spell work. Because one of your karmics, they suffering, man. They're going through it. They're fucking sick. And when I mean like badly sick, like disease. This is a disease I'm picking up on. If y'all get common colds, aches and pains, that's, that's, that's not what I'm talking about. Maybe you going through an energetic shift too. Okay, maybe you picked up on a bug out, out there. That's not what I'm talking about. These karmics trying to make you disease written. And one of your karmics got a disease flowing through their blood. I see it. And it, it got them coughing. And it do got them with runny nose. But their internals are fucked up. They just can't cough and spit it out. Like how I could. I, and I, I don't, but I need to. They can't just drink some tea. You know, take a nap. No, they got to probably be hooked up to some shit. I'm going to take some medication. Got to go to the doctor and be monitored. This is not a joke. But you playing around with this stuff. And I feel like someone in this group, if it's a group, they trying to keep it hidden. They like trying to protect her, her girlfriend. All right, but yeah, her girlfriend fucked up. Her girlfriend's sick as hell. I'm, all right, I'm getting sick as hell. So I don't know if one of them got sick as hell in their DNA. They need to get it together. All right, I'm coming, you know. Look, and this is the messages that y'all been picking up on as righteous tarot readers. It's your divine right to see this because they are, they're playing around with death. And you saw this and you could have called this shit out. And they mad at you because you called out the truth. Your predictions was real. You're not, you're not predicting that the cops going to beat down their house. No, you predicting the truth. Bitch, you playing around with dark magic, you're going to get dark magic on you. Forget all that FBI, CIA, NBA, FDA nonsense. Nah, this is the truth. Y'all karmics are dying from bad mental health, okay, or bad health, period, diseases. Y'all can just drink y'all some tea and feel better. This karmic can't just drink tea. Alright, and this is going to be all their changes. 
one gets sick, they all going to be knocked out the ballpark sick. They may not see that for themselves now because they're trying to get themselves out of it, dig themselves out this hole. A lot of them wasn't even trying to, I don't want to see how I can get sick. I don't have nothing in my DNA, in my blood. Well, you manifested it in your DNA, in your blood, trying to manifest it on us and trying to, you know, death written us, basically, and expect, they was truly expecting to see us fall. <coughs> I'm coming, you know, <coughs> they were truly expecting to see us fall. They're like, before you have this great fortune, this destiny, you want to fall apart, you want to die. And a lot of y'all already living in your destiny. I'm telling y'all, man, listen, listen, like y'all hitting jackpot. Hitting lottery. These people, I feel like the ones that is expecting you to fall, expecting you to die, they don't, they really don't see the sudden wealth that's unfolding for you. This mature woman, she may claim she see it, and, and she's really after you. She's really after you to take this. But what she don't see is this right in her face. Your ancestors beating her down. All of them that's claiming they're a child of Orisha, they ain't say child of God. They say Orisha. They use and they ain't some dark energy saying this shit. All right? They, they don't have the true Orishas in their heart. All right? They all got to pay. And they all going to pay. They're all going to pay. Understand that. They're all going to pay. They're all going to pay. They have to. All right? Their ancestors done... What? I'm getting their ancestors were sent out to make them pay. Because you are true child of God and Orishas. Or whatever deity, goddess. But the Orishas always pop up. And I, and I know why. And y'all coming to know why too. But just flip flop the roles. Cause these even be like fairies, element, elementals. I mean, I'm coming. All right, in any ancestors, period. All right, they trying to use against y'all. Then this is just sad. But this is y'all fortune, man. Y'all fortune is great fortune, sudden wealth. Like I saw with that chalice and that um prosperity card in my witch's um oracle. What is it called again? The witch's wisdom. Y'all listen. They mad because you hold witches' wisdom. You hold the witches' wisdom, and this could just be wisdom about dark witches and, and they trick and they trickery and shit. You know, come on now, come on. Sorry. <sighs> Hold on, let me turn this off. Some of y'all from Australia. Right? The ancestors from Australia. Yeah, man. Gossiping about an earth angel just ain't cool. Alright? You a part of that clique, that group that just gossip about other other terror readers, earth angels stuff. Like, it's one thing if you sharing your experience or opinion, but all day you just talking about the same person, you need you, you need to find something to do. Alright, cause this this shit ain't this shit ain't cool. Alright, listen, Ten of Pentacles, this is yours, man. The ten, listen, the great fortune, prosperity, all this golden energy is yours. This legacy listen, y'all create this. I honestly feel like y'all manifested this lifestyle. 
this new lifestyle, this rags to um, riches lifestyle. I honestly feel like y'all manifested this. And y'all really should feel deserving and happy and proud that you manifested because it's on the way. This is very promising. I'll turn it off. Just go. This is very promising for you guys. No more feeling heavy, all right, or feeling other people bag is in misery. All right, y'all completely coming coming out of that darkness and stepping into shining new light. All right? Like, yeah. Then you keep following your intuition. Your intuition is showing you the way, guiding you the way you need to be. I feel like you see your future uh, ahead. Like, you see your future ahead is very bright. It's promising. And I feel like, you know, there was someone trying to, like, play God or something like that and, and make it seem like they could tell you about your future but no or somebody was trying to confuse you about God and make it seem like God said this is what's really for you and it's, that's what's going to lead you to your ten of pentacles but that was just a whole nother like that was really like a derail off your path like you guys got to follow what it is that you practice I will just wait alright I feel like you guys got to follow what you practice and the death card is, is ancestors and the hoodoo deck. Y'all practice um, hoodoo, alright? Y'all practice any type of um, voodoo here, alright? But high vibrational voodoo, good voodoo. Or if you're a part of a spiritual religion that practices voodoo, y'all keep following that path. That's the path for you. I've, maybe this is someone wants you to go back into the church, be a Christian again, or you know, they like you need to be about God and only God. You are about God and only God, even when you're working with your magic. All right, because first of all, we've got energies that created this, you know, this 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 land, this earth that has the magical properties. All right, and second of all, God granted permission for you to do it. Ask Monty to turn it off, but you're not going to aggravate me about it. All right, but y'all y'all keep doing that. Y'all could be Scorpio. All right, listen, y'all have a gift, a huge gift. This is a big gift. This is a big gift of manifestation too. Like y'all can create like huge prosperity, like. Big money, I should say. Y'all can manifest big money, big opportunities. All right, some of y'all is even manifesting a man, a new masculine, all right, a, a new sexual partner. I don't know, someone who you can move on. You mean, girl, close the door. No, get out, get out of the door. I'll, I'll turn it off, but let me just finish this. Yeah, my kids be like, ugh. But yeah, manifesting a new masculine or a new. Yeah, I mean, I heard a new sexual partner. You just, I feel like some of y'all could be manifesting a man to help you move on from somebody else. All right, to help you stop thinking about someone else. Okay, but you know, just make sure that you clearing out your heart too. All right, and you ain't just mad at this person and you just want to have sex with somebody else just because you're mad at them. No, we don't got time to get back because that's going to ruin your blessings. All right, you don't want to cross up your blessings with um, bullshit. All right, but that's what I was saying. Some of you guys are manifesting new love overall, period. All right, because you are tired of dealing with the same BS and you know what you want. But I feel like somebody was lying to you, though. And, and I, I do feel like they was um, juggling the, these these lies. With that, with that juggling, though, I don't know, I'm getting like somebody will say one thing to you, but they'll really be doing something else, or they'll just say something to you, just to like get you to shut up, alright, but, but they ain't really mean it, they will just, somebody was just saying foolish things too, but let's just keep going, let's keep talking about the good things that's coming out in the tarot, wow, I feel like, like even though the page of swords in reverse could be a sign that somebody's still watching you, but I'm just getting like a part of like a, in the near future karmic is not going to be able to like they're going to end up like I'm literally seeing somebody turn off their damn TV like like that's the sign of them turning you off. OK, that is a sign of them like, yeah, turning you off and, you know, doing I don't know, doing whatever they got to do. I'm sorry, my, my child came here again, distracted me, lost my train of thought. All right. But I feel like in the near future, they're not going to be able to watch you anymore. That's that's a promise. All right, yeah, listen, a new blessing away. I feel like y'all also got a new spiritual gift. Like, y'all unlocking a new spiritual gift, okay? 
Mino, can you go in your room now? Please. That's what I feel. Y'all unlocking a new spiritual gift. Okay. Somebody could also be trying to figure out any new gifts you're going to receive. This doesn't even make any sense why they're trying to figure that out. Y'all, I'm about to go. Let's see why this Ace of Cups here. Yeah, look. Temperance. Your Earth Angel star seeds. Y'all got a whole new um, spiritual gift on the way. Well, not on the way. It's, really, it's unfolding. A new spiritual gift is unfolding. And, and, and I feel like you have this gift because you're an Earth Angel. And you're leveling up as an Earth Angel. Because you're doing what you got to do as an Earth Angel here. Look, a star. You're a star. This is a new healing gift. All right, for a lot of you guys, you're being rewarded this gift for just walking away from something. Maybe you guys could have also chose the high road instead of fighting somebody back or going back and forth. You decided to do the healing thing, all right, and I feel like that helped you grant, grant this power, be granted in this power. <clears throat> I don't know. I feel like somebody's a bit... Timid, I don't know. But I feel like y'all going to be able to, um, to have this gift for a long time. Like, this gift cannot be taken away or anything like that. Nah. <sighs> Eight of Swords. That's why it's still about to be done, because this reading is going somewhere else. All right, I don't know. Some of y'all could have been all in your head about your gifts. Somebody trying to take your gifts from you. Just know no one's going to be able to take your gifts. All right, move forward or block your gifts or anything. All right, if these people still want to be all in their head about you, let them go ahead and be all in their head about you. But like I said, move forward. In the near future, I don't see them being able to watch you anymore. Y'all got a lot of promising new energy on the way. Y'all should truly be excited. Okay, anything else? All right, four of cups. And please keep rejecting the karmic man and hold back. Protect your energy. All right, mm-hmm. I feel like you said what you said and that's it. All right, you don't need to open the door and explain to someone what you meant when you said it's not on. That's it. And I'm also getting, it's like you said what you said, now you need to protect your energy because um, karmics may try to come back, all right, and, and try to one-up you, but... <coughs> <coughs> it's not going to matter and I feel like it's the same karma that's going to try to come around later on in life and, and be trying to reach out to you and stuff <coughs> like y'all re recently could have said something to a karmic not even said something but like, ex like spoke some type of truth <coughs> that exposed the karmic and they're going to be trying to expose you or try to or try to do some type of spell work to get you exposed, okay? But I feel like it's going to be the same person that's going to try to communicate with you. It's a false person. It's going to be a false lover, all right? Who stepped out on you with someone from their past, all right? It's like this is someone who went back to an ex. For some of you guys, y'all was dealing with, you know, go. For some of you guys, y'all was dealing with an ex that, that, that went back to an ex. They did. They went back to an ex. And they, and, and they left you hanging, so you had to move on. Yeah, look, the Empress, listen, I feel like I feel like y'all learned a great lesson behind that person. I didn't want to try to come back. That is crazy. All right, I don't, I, I don't know. This was definitely a karmic situation, but with this justice and will of fortune... I see divine light coming from the just. This is like the truth. I really do see the truth that's clearing up your life. Or right, in your light. I guess, you know, whoever this ex is that left you for an ex, why would they try to put all this dark energy on you? Like, you've gone through so much. It's like 
them leaving you alone put you in so much darkness. You get what I'm saying? And it's like you the imprint. And it took you a while to see that about yourself because you went through a lot. All right, impress higher friend. I do love this. I really love this because this is your crown. You have a higher friend crown and an impress crown, version to one. We got to figure out a word for that. All right, but that's the new energy that you guys step into, higher friend, impress. And you happy as hell. And no, this ex cannot come back. You moved on. Tell them to go back to the ex. You could said that. Go back to your ex. They got mad at you for saying that, though. You could have told them that. Could be your earth sign. They got mad at you. They did. They was like, what? How dare you tell me to go back to someone and I broke up with them to be with you? No, they didn't. They broke up because this ex ended up fucking with somebody else. Okay? She was never taking him seriously. She, honestly, y'all, I don't know. I don't understand why people be putting themselves in these situations. I don't get it. Alright, but I feel like, you know, divine protection. You guys have divine protection over your will of fortune. Okay? Only the light. Alright, can, can be a part of your will of fortune. This is not this person's darkness. Okay? And this is the energy that y'all in. Higher for impress. This is a part of your calling. It's like this is you being a spiritual teacher or you're spiritually wise. Divine wisdom here. Uh-huh. And you a whole impress. Okay? You a whole divine feminine in this, in this higher fit position where they claim a man will be. <laughs> No, and you accomplished this. You did a lot. You did a lot for the universe. All right, your spirit did a lot for this universe. Okay, and it's time for you to move on in peace and release the war that you guys coming out of. Yeah, I was just looking for the high priestess in my head. I'm like, damn, the high priest didn't come out. Look, they did want you to pass away, but you ain't going to pass away. I feel like you guys reconciled with your ancestors on the other side. All right, you connect with them daily. All right, y'all like a medium. I mean, a psychic medium that connect with the spirits on the daily. All right, and that's why you need to keep yourself spiritually protected, right? And you do, and this is why spirit, you know, they make sure you stay, like, protected. Like, they keep you protected because you guys work with spirit on the daily. And it may scare a few people out. How can you work with spirit like that? Because they look at spirit as, like, deadly. They look at spirit as bigger than them. All right, and maybe they did some bullshit. And maybe they have to be in that energy. I don't know. But y'all not afraid. And you know, people ask, how are you the higher for Empress and the High Priestess? How can you be? Like, I'm not explaining that. All right. But you being the higher for Empress is just as important as you being the High Priestess Empress. Okay? It's just as important. Trust me, and you know, y'all going through, y'all still going through this transformation, and I feel like it's light that you're transforming into. So don't give up on yourself. Don't feel like because if y'all did get sick or y'all feel energetically sick, all right? Honestly, if you feel energetically sick, I don't feel like it's coming from their spells, even if they may think that, all right? But... If you're energetically sick, I feel like it's because you're going through as ascension symptoms and you're going through, like, some energetic upgrades. Like, in this, and we're stepping into the energetic new year, all right, and we have eclipse season coming up, the spring equinox. We're all going through changes, okay? I do feel like a part of the reason why I got sick is because the energy shift is happening. I'm getting prepared for that. It is everything just, you know, happened for a reason. And, you know, this, this, some people even have a hard time seeing the different, I guess, perspective in things. Like, they'll just see, like, you know, a person, they got sick because, oh, they was around a, a sick person. They won't really see how, you know, the energy around them, yeah, that's what got them sick, but it's because the energy is changing, too. Maybe everyone, energ is, it, it, everyone is energetically getting affected by this, which is, why we may all be getting sick because we all about to go through some cosmic changes and it's, it's going to affect our bodies so we need to fight off whatever energy that just ain't going to be a fit for this new energetic reset rebirth okay so y'all just get prepared because i just see nothing but ascension and rainbow light coming through but i love y'all so much bye